The gate swings into the stretch for the start. Here they come. And they're off. Nevelson Hanover fires hard, quickly moves through to the inside and takes the lead. Mr. Sox comes away well and second high got the jack of the inside third. Clout nine is caught to the outside, parked in fourth. He's the most to the inside, sealing the gap in fifth. K.D. Herman is next and quiet laughter trails. Down the back stretch and on the front, Luke Willett has Nevelson Hanover leading by a length and a half. Mr. Sox there to the inside, racing in second. I got the jack, gaps two and a half, now three lengths in third. Quarter time is 27 and three. He's the most on the inside, races fourth. To the inside, racing five, K.D. Herman. And moving up on the outside, is still wide, it's Clout Nine. They come to the halfway point, Nevelson Hanover. Nevelson Hanover, a length and a half, two. On the inside, Mr. Sox. Racing in second, here comes, I got the jack to the outside, first up challenging from third now, he's the most to the inside, moving up the line in fourth, 56 and three, the half, off the turn to the back stretch they go, and on the front, Nevelson Hanover, there every step of the way, on the inside, Mr. Sox is now trapped, High got the jack, stalled to the outside, and here comes K.D. Herman with a rush, K.D. Herman from fifth, now fourth, now third, now second, and up alongside Nevels and Hanover. The battle begins as they reach three quarters. They're in 126 and three. And Nevels and Hanover is up to the task as he opens back up by a length. K.D. Herman to the outside, racing a second. Mr. Sox on the inside, races third. He's the most. Inside an eighth of a mile ago. Nevels and Hanover by two. K.D. Herman all out of the inside, chasing in second. Mr. Sox to the outside with late pace. But as they come to the finish, it's Nevels and Hanover. Nevels Nevelson Hanover wins it. K.D. Herman was second, third. Mr. Sox, 155 and one. And finishing fourth there was a Dave Miller with He's the Most, 155 and one. And Dave, I believe the strategy by Luke was maybe to go right to the lead. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, surprising, Mr. Sox has had zero he lead had no whatsoever. Go. Big backstretch move by K.D. Herman, who I thought was going to sweep by, but Luke may be playing possum with a Nevelson Hanover, who quickened away again for the win. So uh, Brian Tropy and the two Titans guys can say, well, how was your day? Well, we won the first race in the 23rd <laughs> That's a pretty and good day. Be win number... 36 ties Billy Houghton and Dick Buxton. It's not a bad pair to tie. Not bad company to uh, be in right there. Lots of TV coverage today. HR TV covering the uh, racing action here at Delaware. Peter Lurie and Kevin Decker. And I'm sure they did a great job. Had a lot of fun. Maybe we'll see more harness racing on HR TV. 11 million homes by way of the Dish Network. Back in front of the stands. Final heat of the day, number is seven, Nevelson Hanover. A three-year-old Colt by Real Artist out of Nappy Hanover by Albatross. All by two Titans Racing Stable of Detroit, Michigan. Brian Trophy trains Luke Willett, the winning driver. Sixth seasonal victory for Nevelson Hanover, the mile 155, one fifth. Been a long day for all of us yeah. and for Luke Jr. as well. Yeah, he looks like he's sound asleep in Mother Anita's arms there. Yeah. Luke Jr. sound asleep. He missed that seventh win. And Brian Trophy has had those colors on all day from uh, yeah. his winner circle appearance at 1033 this morning. The, the, the bookend winner. The bookends. Official. Nevelson Hanover, 860, 540, and 240. The 5, KD Herman, 780, and 340. The 5, or excuse me, the 3, Mr. Sox.